Wow. Do you ever get back from the shelter and you love taking all the pictures of the amazing dogs and cats up for adoption, but you are exhausted by the time you get home and you realize I have an entire card full of images that now I need to edit. Well, if that's you, I'm gonna show you my speedy editing tips for shelter photography. Stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna show you live me going through uh, the shelter dog photos that I took this week at Animal House and we're going to be looking at Lightroom and Photoshop and I want to show you some of the tips and tricks that I use to make that process faster. I have uploaded all of the images from that session already. I have I import presets and folders where I put everything. I'm not going to talk about any of that today. Hopefully you have a system in place. Uh, so we're going to start just right off from the Lightroom screen and start with culling the images. So let's go. All right, we have Lightroom pulled up here. I photographed five dogs this week at Animal House Rescue and Grooming. These are raw straight out of the camera. <laughs> and so what we wanna do is do this really quickly. All right, what I'm gonna do, I see the flash didn't fire on that one. Here's the one, the first dog, and I'm gonna shift click. So I'm gonna press shift, click the first one, and then click the last one. That'll click them all. And then you press N, and that is the survey view, okay? And so these are all of them. And at my particular shelter, they are able to have three images for their adoption portfolio profile. And so I always just run through really quickly and see three images that I think will be good. And I like to have them change up a little bit. So maybe a profile, a close up, and something that shows their whole body. Alrighty, you can see this dog was very active. Alrighty, here is looking cute on the ground and I'm just gonna press number one for one star. I like that one and I like this one. And let's see, I do like him sitting here. I wish his little ears had gone up, but he, again, he was very active. So we're gonna go that one. Then we're gonna go press G and go back out to grid mode. We're gonna look at the next dog, click on the first one, hit shift, click on the last one, type N for survey mode, and we're gonna real quickly go through these. Oh, that's a great profile there. Give that a one star. He's got a really silly look on his face there. That's also a one star, very cute. Oh, and him up on the bench at the end here. All right, so that's that one. Go back to G for grid. We're gonna see my flash didn't fire on that one. Let's go down and see all the pictures of this pupper. I can see by his blue bow tie which dog we're looking at. Okay, and shift click here. We're gonna press N and we're gonna see them all, all at once. This last one, I can see he's looking right at me as well as this one. I like that. Doesn't look like I got any, oh yeah, here he is sitting and looking at me full body. Sometimes I'll pick more than one because I'm not sure, especially with the darker dog, if the flash, if they're in focus. Uh, so let's pick one more. His ears are cute there. Let's go back to grid. Let's look at the next little one here. Cute. All right, press in. Ha, huh. a little tongue sticking out. I like that a lot. Uh, you know, the dog's kind of standing up and that's not <laughs> great behavior, but you know, it's funny. And here's a full body. We want to see the little freckles on his legs. Go back out to grid and we're gonna take a look at this. I think it's the last little one. So we just did the five dogs this week. I dedicate an hour every week at each shelter. I work at two shelters. And so we were only able to get five of the seven done. I like this one of him looking at me. Um, let's see, he's sitting really cute right here. I'm gonna give that a one star. He's up on that bench there too. I think that's funny. Maybe his little tongue sticking out. Right down here, we have our filter showing. You can uh, make Lightroom show this or not. I love it right down here. You're gonna click the one star and this is gonna show all of them. So I can control A, show all of them with the N survey key. We got one, two, three, four, five dogs. There we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into develop mode up here at the top. Uh, I like these, my, the shelters I work with, the aspect ratio is eight by 10. So I'm always, the first thing I do is I go through and crop all my selections to eight by 10. I'm gonna work on the white balance. I'm gonna click the little white balance button, find a neutral spot, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna come down here and do my lens profile. And that's all I'm gonna do to start with. Then I'm gonna click, let's see. 
let's go make sure. I've got this guy, this guy, we press D for develop, and then we're gonna choose all the rest of them, and we're going to sync, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sync all the settings. I haven't done anything crazy with these. So sync all the settings. While that's working, I'm gonna go back out, work on this first one, D for develop. We're gonna come up here. I get real lazy and I press auto for exposure to see what it'll do. I want that a little bit brighter, I think. Boop, 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 a little bit brighter. Uh, let's see, what's the other thing I wanna do? Make sure his eyes are in focus. Yep, look pretty good. There's this light switch, uh, you know, plug-in back here. I'm gonna do the second little icon up here. This is spot removal. Doesn't always look great in Lightroom. Honestly, I'm using my scrolly mouse to make it bigger or you can do the bracket keys to make it bigger. And this is just paint over it. And let's see what it does. Yeah, that looks fine. Awesome. So then we're gonna go on to the next picture and we're gonna press R. R is for cropping. I don't know why it's not C, but anyway, it's R. <laughs> R for crop, press enter. And you know what? I can't see because my little bubble head is right there. Let's see if I can move that out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna take the settings from that one and we're gonna sync that. But I just really want, uh, you always have to have process version, the white balance and the basic tone. And I'm gonna sync that. Oh yeah, so here he goes. That looks so much better. So we're gonna do that for the next pup or two. Sync that one, but we're gonna have to press R for cropping to <laughs> show the little dog's face, right? Uh, so cute. You can kind of make your judgment here. How much of his body do you want to show? His little legs are adorbs. Great. So now we have this dog is done. Let me show you in survey mode. There, there we go. Move my little head down again. See? So that guy's all done. Let's go to grid. Let's see the next one. We're gonna press R. I double clicked and that got me into develop. I wanna show his whole body in this one. So I'm just gonna crop that a little bit bigger. Remember I pressed um, R for crop. And I want him, let's see what the auto exposure does. Nah, don't really like that. Sometimes it messes around with the whites. These are really super fast edits uh, because I wanna show you how fast you can get on this. So I did sync, I clicked on the first one, shift click on the third one, I synced and I still had white balance and tone chosen. So synchronize, click on the next picture. I pressed R cause we're gonna crop in just to his silly little goofy face. I kind of like it off kilter, <laughs> off horizon there. So, you know, that's what we're gonna go with. I think that's adorable. A little white has to come down just a little. If I have the J button on, let's see up here if I can see our histogram. So having J on and off, you can see these boxes light up. If I was to have this really blown out, see the red? That's when Lightroom's like, oh, you went too far, lady. Okay, so I'll tone that down a little bit. We got a lot of white on white right there. All right, let's go to the next one. I clicked on the next one. I pressed R for crop. And I just like how the top half of them is looking at me. Do that, press enter. It is too bright though. You can clearly see that. Okay, he's looking good. Okay, on to the next one. Let's R for crop. Hello, computer, here we go. R for crop. And this, I think this is the one I wanted to show this dog's full body. So we're gonna show the whole thing. I want to press auto for auto exposure. You know what? I want that a little bit uh, brighter and I want the contrast up, show the shine again. Let's do that set, that little circle, the spot removal. Let's see how good Lightroom does this time. I like to scrub over it a couple times so it just makes sure it gets all the little points. All right, it's it's almost got it. This is the point that it's grabbing from. You can see, boop. I don't want to grab it from here, right? Because then it's going to show the dog's head in that spot instead. I don't, I want just the wall. <laughs> It still has, see, this is the thing with this Lightroom tool. Oh, it doesn't always do great. Do, do, do. Um, so I'm just gonna go paint around in here. And these are their adoption pictures, so they're probably not gonna show them real big, but I like to have them cleaned up because they might use them for uh, some marketing. So I'm gonna choose all of those. I'm gonna sync just the basic tone and white balance, not the spot removal. So go to the next one, press R for crop, remember? Okay, that looks adorable, love it. Uh, next one, R for crop. You know, the white balance still seems off to me and I want this this way. So this is keeping my eight by 10 aspect ratio perfect for the adoption site. I think this needs to be a little bit bluer myself and obviously brighter, there we go. So that I think looks better. So I'm gonna click the next one, shift click and synchronize those two. Oh yeah, I'm liking that, I'm pressing R, do do do. 
we're going to go up. Now you know I have four of these, but that's okay. I'm just going to go through them real quick. Next puppy. Oh, this is the one that's jumping up. Oh no. Ah, we're jumping around. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. Sometimes they'll use these on a poster, uh, you know, for some kind of upcoming event. And it's nice to have them a little bit um, goofy for some of those. And you know what? That's pretty close to all the rest of them. So I'm just going to sync both dogs and we're going to go sync and white balance and basic tone synchronize. And while that's thinking about it, I'm gonna to go to the next one of this little guy. Hello. And go right into the face there. Don't you love that goofy face? Needs to be a little bit brighter. So I'm just gonna up the exposure all around. I think it's still a little bit brown. There we go, that's better. This isn't totally pure gray concrete floor. So be careful when you mess around with colors that you know the actual colors. <laughs> You don't want to make a, a, you know, a red dog look like, you know, an orange dog, something like that. So just be careful on your white balance there a little bit. That dog is almost done. Here, look at this scruffy little thing. Isn't that a cute dog? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I took these uh, like yesterday, so I hope they're still up for adoption. I mean, like, I hope they still need these pictures. I hope they are adopted though. That one looks good. I'm just going to arrow over. And oh yeah, this dog got up on the little bench in that room too. We always set up in the meet and greet room and it's nice in there. There we go. That one looks good. Arrow over to the next one. Press R for cropping. Cutie patootie. Oh, look at the bow tie. Isn't that great? This might have too much of the bench for me. We'll see. I don't know. Also still a little bit blue in the shadows there. Let's go to the very last picture. Press R. Um, and all oh, that one's cute. You can see its face, nose, bow tie, markings, that hair. Oh my gosh. I love those scruffy hair dogs. Oh, I'm going over. I just keep pressing R if I want to crop it. Now, let's go back out. We can see all of them. Control A. We're going to go to N. There are a couple of things that I want to remove that I know, I know the Lightroom is not going to do well, which is like that. Okay, so we're going to go to grid. I don't want to take all of these over there. Uh, all of them were selected and they would have all gone <laughs> to Lightroom. So let's uh, Photoshop. Let's not do that. We're going to click on this one. Right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Would you paw that little thumbs up button? Leave a little comment. If there's something else you want to know about editing your rescue photos, let me know. It's pulling it over into Photoshop right now. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in on this and I'm just gonna start with the clone stamp. Press S or you can come over here to a little stamp. Here, right? And I'm gonna make that spot bigger with my open, my close bracket. And then you're gonna press Alt to grab some of the wall from over here and paint it in there. Now I'm gonna make it smaller. I go about this super fast and I'm grabbing with, I'm clicking Alt and painting, clicking Alt and painting. So I'm grabbing from here, putting up here, grabbing from here, putting up here. I'm trying to be real careful of his little uh, fur on his leg. So Control O will show the whole screen. Oh, look at we have some pesky little treats over there I want gone. So I'm still in my stamp tool. I'm going to press Alt and take some of that floor. Do 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 do. All done. And then if you Control S, you can see it's saving. It's going right back over to Lightroom. I'm going to Alt Tab back over to Lightroom and there he is all edited. Um, so I can take the star off of this one. This is going to be a zero star. Look at after, before, after, before. Okay. So zero that out. Let's go back out to grid. What else do we have that needs to go? Ah, this one. Remember I want that out of there too. So let's go into edit Adobe Photoshop. You can do this with the leash, uh, with anything else distracting in here. I'm, I'm going Z for zoom and zooming in, oh, that's too far. So alt click and that'll zoom out a little bit. We're gonna go back into S, remember the stamp tool? Stamp, stamp, stamp. We're gonna click here while we press alt, click here and press alt, click here and press alt. How about up here? Let's do that one. And we got really lucky that this was not in this dog's beard right here, because that is so difficult. And that's a whole, that is a whole different video, everybody. That's a whole different video. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go there today. All right. Um, so let's control O and zoom out. That looks pretty good. If I want to get super picky, I can control S. There's a lot of ways to do this. I will probably do a separate video on all the different ways you can do this. There we go.
That looks great. Control S to save. That's going to pop it back over to Lightroom. We're going to Alt Tab. Go check on it. There it is. There's before, after, ah, before, after. Yes. Okay. We really like that. I'm going to press zero so you can make no stars for that one because I like the other one better. Let's go back out to the grid view. Control A for all of them. N for survey mode. I don't see anything crazy. There's some treats on the ground for this pupper, but I don't care. This one, you know what? There is a little something, something on the wall there. So let's go into D for develop. And we're going to zoom in on that spot. I'm going to hold down the, I'm going to just move it around with my little hand. We're going to go back over to that spot removal and it should do fine with that. Make it a nice big brush. Okay. And then if you don't like where it grabs, you can move where it's grabbing from. That looks good. And you can say done, click it again and it zooms back out. Oh, I see a pesky light cover. I could get real picky here and take it over to Photoshop, but I think it's going to be fine. There we go. That looks fine. Um, they have just this painted wall in the room that we use as a backdrop. Control A, and then we're gonna press N and see them all. Ta-da! There you go. That's all of them. You love it? Wow, that is my speedy editing of shelter dog photos. That was five dogs that I photographed over an hour at the shelter this week and we edited them all in 16 minutes. That's all the time it took me to get three usable images for five different dogs. And now I'm going to export them with my preset, which will put their name on there and put my logo on there. Then I'll just put them in a Dropbox and send the email off with a link to the shelter. That's as easy as it is. I really hope you liked today's video. It's a quick one, uh, but I think it's going to be really useful for you. Was it? Did I show you any tricks? Any of those magic keystrokes that you didn't know about that are going to make your workflow faster? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear. So be sure to pa that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so you are sure to see all of the wonderful videos that are posted here all the time for you. And as always, I wish you many whoops, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S-S. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, such a cute puppy. Look at that bow tie. Aww. Oh, laying down. So cute. Oh, what a nice smile. Oh, those ears, though. Ah, those ears. <laughs>